welcome to the Jacksonville Recreation and Parks Department. I am Susan Baptist and this is Nick Broninger. How are you doing? I'm doing good. We're busy over here at the uh, Rec and Parks Department because we have a big event coming up and that is the Jacksonville Jamboree. Now this is our, how, what year is this for this us? Is our third year. Third year and we are so excited because every year we keep getting bigger and better and uh, it's just been a great phenomenal community event. Um, so we want to tell you a little bit about it. So you can mark your calendars first and foremost, May 3rd. Yeah, mark your calendars, May 3rd, because we want you out here. It's at the Commons. It's a beautiful setting for us. And we're going to have so much stuff we're going to tell you all about. First and foremost, we have lots of arts and crafts vendors coming out. Yeah, uh, well, we have vendors range from arts and crafts, uh, jewelry businesses, uh, some colleges coming out. So we got anything from jewelry to cornhole bags to uh, candy, apples, you name it, we got... We have tons of food vendors, tons of arts and crafts, and the good news is, is they can still sign up. Yeah, we're taking applications till the 25th of this month, April 25th. Yep. Um, so if you are interested in being a vendor, please uh, contact us and we'll get you set up with an application. Yes, absolutely, because we still have some spots more the merrier from what we, um, our perspective is. So by all means, it's a pretty reasonable fee. Just give us a call, we can get you that packet, you can sign up and then we can have some of that arts and crafts. So we got arts and crafts vendors. Um, what else do we have going on? We have um, activities. Yeah, um, we Entertainment. Yeah, we have some good bands coming up. Uh, the Marine Corps uh, band is coming to kick off the Jamboree event. It's going to be um, phenomenal. It's, uh, if you haven't seen them, come check them out. It's an amazing uh, show that they put on. Yes. Um, we have some for 40 East. 40 East, they're 40 out of East. Wilmington. They came last year. Great response, yeah. great. Um, great cover band, you know, they do all sorts of fun music for everybody. Yep, we have Freeway coming also. Um, we're excited about them. And then our new addition this year is uh, Brick House. Brick House. Our headliner, they'll be going on at the end of the festival. Um, so we're excited with those. And then our local uh, talent show. Yes, um, Jacksonville's Got Talent. Jacksonville's Got Talent. They'll be performing as well throughout the day. So come check out all the local talent in Jacksonville and cheer them on. And um, watch some good entertainment. It should be a fun filled day. So, so far we have got um, some arts and crafts vendors for everybody to do some shopping. We have some entertainment. In addition to entertainment, we have some amusements. We'll have a trackless train, hey, uh, pony ride, petting zoo, all that great stuff for the kids to enjoy. Yeah, we got, uh, we have, uh, yeah, pony rides will be here. We have trackless train. We have a cool uh, new uh, uh, gaming trailer That's that right. will um, reach hopefully some of our teenagers and young adults. Uh, come out and check out some of the newest gaming features sure. um, they'll be here and uh, we're looking to get our a scrap exchange a cool uh, make it and take it arts and crafts yep free we, for the kids yep so it'll be something for everybody to do throughout the day keep you busy and uh, keep you here yeah absolutely okay so we have all of that but the neat the neat thing about the jamboree is it's what what i like to call a three-legged stool because we like to bring people in from out of the area with athletic events so we we get all your family activities covered with all the amusements and the entertainment and the arts and crafts vendors but then we like to really tie it all in with bringing people in for tournaments and athletic events so we have some new stuff coming up this year and that is one of them is uh, the uh, tennis, USDA sanctioned tennis tournament. Yeah. Tell our, the folks about that one. Uh, our athletics department's been working hard um, getting it sanctioned. So um, this is the first year that it's going to be sanctioned. They're real excited. Um, there's a wonderful opportunities for high school students yep, to come. Absolutely. Um, and then we are just excited because this is brand new for us and we have these brand new tennis courts They're that beautiful. we're wanting to get used. Um, so that's exciting news for that. That is. Um, we have our USSA uh, softball. Girls fast pitch yep. softball USSA. So yeah, we're looking for um, filling up our adult fields with some great uh, girls softball. So if yeah. any of you girls out there play some softball, you need to get a team together and enter into uh, enter into that tournament. A new one for us too, which we've never had at the event, is a car show or it's a car exhibit. Car, yeah. mm -hmm. um, you want to tell the folks a little bit about that? Yeah, we've been uh, in touch with a bunch of local uh, car co uh, clubs. Car clubs. Mm -hmm. um, and we're looking to bring out a whole bunch of just exotic or uh, old muscle cars and just Corvettes. Yeah. Anything that's just a fun thing for uh, kids because growing up, every kid likes to see these nice fancy cars and walk by and see them. So we're excited to bring a car display uh, yep. to the event to add another feature to our festival. Absolutely. And the neat thing about that is um, the car clubs, you, you still have a chance to sign up too. So if you have a car or you are part of a car club, you can still sign up until April 25th. Uh, it's going to be spectator's choice. So we're going to try and keep it easy and low key for everybody. 
but um, we're tying that event in with one of our great sponsors this year, Nationwide Insurance. Um, they're one of our great sponsors and they're bringing an actual NASCAR mm -hmm. along with the simulator. Yeah, that's the simulator is in this huge trailer and you get, get and sit in like a makeshift uh, NASCAR and run the course and it should be just a whole lot of fun. Oh. And get to see them. I'm excited. Uh, I've uh, never been in one, so I can't wait. So yeah. that should be pretty neat. So yeah, well, I'm excited because we have uh, softball covered. We have sanctioned uh, USTA tennis tournament uh, started. We have the car show. We have basketball and that really is probably the biggest event that we have. That is uh, NTBA. NTBA is a national qualifier for us and the, the team, the team. So this, we're expecting a large a uh, large uh, number of teams coming from around the state, yep. out of state. So this is a big deal for the NCAA uh, tournament. So this is going to be huge. Yeah, so. no, it's very exciting that we are able to host such a nice large tournament for these teams to come mm -hmm. in. We're fortunate to have the support of um, you know, JTDA, which is the Jacksonville Tourism Development Authority, to help us promote and provide advertising. So that's really neat. We have some great sponsors, Marine Chevrolet. Um, they're gonna. They've helped us with the car show, and then the nationwide, which is so neat with the uh, with the uh, simulator. And then we also have neat uh, remote control boats that'll be behind us. So if you've never seen all those neat boat races, uh, they'll be behind us. Can you think of anything else, Nick? Uh, we, it's just a great event. Um, like you said, we got sporting events. We got art, arts and craft vendors, food vendors, music. We got stuff for the kids. Um, parking. We got parking That's at. Right. Um, all the local schools around the commons, Jacksonville Commons Elementary School, the middle school, and yep. Northside High School, we will run a shuttle um, yep. from each site throughout the event, so don't have to worry about fighting for a parking spot. Find one of those schools, park, and then just uh, wait for our, yeah, our transit bus to come pick you up. The best part is, is it's... It's free. Free! <laughs> yep, all the, all the events uh, are free. Everything is free. There's no requirement to pay unless you want to purchase anything from our vendors right. or food. That stuff, obviously, it has a fee associated to it, but all sure. the activities and events are free. Yep. So come support us and come out to this event. Um, so we're excited for it. Yeah, no, we're thrilled. We, look, we plan all year long so you guys can come out and have a great day with us. So May 3rd, hopefully it's already marked on your calendar. Everything starts, kicks off at 11 o'clock. Kicks off at 11. And we will be going right up until about 8 o'clock with our last band finishing up then. So uh, we want to see you. We have uh, figured out parking for you to get here nice and easy. We've got all the games and activities figured out. we got some great sporting events for you to support. So come on out. Anything else? No. We're... All right. Pray for some good weather and, and come out and expect to have some fun. All right. Sounds good. Well, that's it for us at the Jacksonville Recreation and Parks Department. I'm Susan and this is Nick. And we'll see you on May 3rd at the Jacksonville Jamboree.